Hello everybody. Welcome back. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna go with another um, Druzy pour and really my Druzy pours are inspired by Petra Jungblut. I, I need to be honest. I also um, have an inlayer, the Druzy inlayer, which I very, very much like. Um, this is the 15 centimeter diameter um, geode um, coaster from Mold and Shapes, which is awesome. I use this already quite a lot. There's something in there which I need to get out now. Yeah, and I'm curious how this pour is gonna work today. <laughs> Um, first of all, I want to lay some of these flakes. Um, I have them for quite a while. I've never really used them from Resin 8 in the UK. I guess you um, can also get them in Petra store. But like I said, I've never used them so far, so I just dribble a little bit around here. Maybe I should use a pincette, but I just do it like this, because I don't have a pincette just right now, and I don't want to use mine, which I need for my makeup. <laughs> so. I also don't want to use too much, just a little bit like so. Okay, the rest I, I get back into my bag later. Um, yeah, colors. I want to go outside with the um, tequila sunrise, which I will be doing now, let me just get some sticks. Yeah, this could be a little bit more loose, like so, yeah. Um, I do not need so much of it, so I just go with a scoop like this. Um, yeah, the Smica and also later on the Sparkle White, they are both from Petra. As many people of you maybe know already, I really like her Micas. They are really good quality. So let me just mix this up. My resin is sitting now for half an hour. So I think this will be nice for this pour. Look at this. Awesome. Um, yeah, I need another cup for my alcohol ink. So Yes, I can pour almost half. Still have some resin left, of course. Um, with the alcohol ink, I use the tangerine. And I go with, I guess, four drops. Four. And a little bit of the Sparkle White, like so, this is enough. The Sparkle White, white is really awesome, I, I really like this a lot, I use this a lot, this is actually my favorite, <laughs> because you can just mix it everywhere in and the effects are amazing. So thank you, Petra. <laughs> OK. 
for creating such a nice um, or having such a nice quality mica or sparkle i don't know what it is in your product range okay let me just pour outside So, get the rest out. I'm not scratching it out too, too much. Oops, now I'm making a mess. This is typical for me. You will never see this with Petra. Ah, anyway. Um, yeah, let me just clean this up a little bit so it's looking decent. And now I'm going to go with the tangerine. It's a slightly darker color, so I'm, I'm doing it a little bit different. And I just go around. I need to make sure that I pour up to um, the in layer. I um, pressed it very, very good inside. So hopefully I won't have any um, yeah, overfloating or how do you call this? Well, it's almost to the height, but I just mix a little bit more. I need more anyway. So I can also prepare my other colors. Let this already bleed into each other. This is my clear and I will be using brown alcohol ink. So I guess I have enough. Last time I was struggling a little bit with my coasters. So I made sure I have enough. Anyway, again, another four drops. Some of the sparkle white. Which I will also add to my brown. <laughs> I know I should not do it like this, but it's also to save a little bit. Mix this up first. And let me pour up to the top. Yeah, it's the same color, so no worries. This is the top. Um, with the brown, I don't know how dark it's getting. So let me go. This is a B.I. alcohol ink from um, Marabou. It's a little bit sticky. Um, one, two, three. I guess this will be fine. I 
think it can be a little bit darker comparing to um, the tangerine. I thought the color was stronger. So another two and that should do it. Yeah, it's better. So a brown sparkle. <laughs> um, I start with, with the brown. Oh, there was something in there. Let me just get a stick to get it out. Don't know what this is. It may not, may not be in there. And you. So, just a tiny bit more. Yeah, I guess it's from the things that are sticking onto the bottle. I should clean this. Mm. Oh, so yeah, this doesn't belong in there. So, i um, gonna go further with my orange. And I push this out with the clear. And brown. I think the brown could still have been a little bit darker. But I just go on with this now. Um, the orange. Guess I use it up all. And some clear. So I'm just looking um, how high I am. I'm still not up to the top. So I can just um, get my little torch. Awesome looking. There's something lying up here. Just get this because I want these to be down there <laughs> to have the um, 3D effect. Yeah, maybe if I just put it down. Yeah. So I wonder how well, how the resin is moving. Um, what am I going to do next? See, there's still from the alcohol ink. Some, or is this from the um, flakes? I'm not sure. But I, I really, really like it. L look at this. I mean, the colors are awesome. Yeah. I think I could have maybe made the um, brown a bit um, a bit more or a bit darker, but well, there's always a next time. So anyway, I let this rest a little bit. 
and I was gonna go with the orange to make some nice designs with the um, pigment paste but let me get a yellow so here's the um, yellow it's the sun yellow from Amor Art. I have um, here 10 grams each of resin. Um, now I need to have a look. This is the one I poured with. So I go with two drops for 10 grams. I only need two sticks. I hope I'm not talking too much into myself again. Um, if I do, I'm really sorry. It's not much difference, is there? So I may need to make this a little bit darker. So let me just get a red. I have the um, Sangria alcohol ink, so let me just see with one drop what it's doing because I want to have a little bit contrast. It's now a dirty yellow, <laughs> but it's not really doing anything. See? I should have gone with the orange and then make the orange darker. But two more drops. We will see. Yeah, I can go with this color. It's a little bit brownish now. It's almost like um, an ochre. ochre. Yeah, but I go with this one and I go with white. It's the casting craft. Two drops. And I want to go with the pearl from Pinata. One drop. I wonder what it does if I do one drop of the pearl also in there. Just trying things out <laughs> as I'm going. Yeah, I want the white to be rather opaque and it is. Two drops for 10 grams is really enough. Let me mix this up with a little pearl. No idea if it does anything at all, but we will see. Um, yeah, so um, I would say I wait a little bit because my, my um, pigment paste, um, they still need to rest a little bit. And I see you in a couple of minutes. Okay. Hi everybody, back. Um, yeah, let me just fill my piping bags. This is really like a, a, you know those. I think it's called amber, like um, yeah, like these stones. This color. So I hope I, I made the right decision to mix it like this. It was more an accident. I didn't expect it to become such a color, but I like it. So put this away. The other one we see white. 
I will make rather thin holes in my bag because I only want to achieve um, a sort of wispiness and I hope I will be doing well with this. My mold actually is very, very cool, so I hope these, um, yeah, what will probably be in there, 10 grams at all, will not do any harm. See, <laughs> so little. Um, yeah, get this here. Yeah, let me just get them a little bit down. Next one. So first I think I'm gonna go with the white. Is there again a leak? Yes, see, well, I was so proud that, that this stopped. But there's again a leak. Anyway, let it rest. I hope this one is okay. Seems like so. Scissor, heat gun is also ready. And yeah, off we are. Huh? Just go in circles, like so. I'm not too good in doing these um, designs. <laughs> anyway, first one is done. Yoo <laughs> And now the second one. These I just go like so. Another row. And um, I have to be very careful with um, blowing this because now it's it's really rather full and it's doming. I have to be really, really careful. I really wonder how this will turn out. <laughs> but I, I really, really like this so far. Just like this maybe a little bit inside oops there you are that's it I'm not gonna do more now the resin has to do its own thing and I hope it will do. <laughs> but I can already see there will be a lot of depths in this. Okay, um, let me get my gloves off and take you down for a close-up. like the colors, I really do. Sorry, um, yeah. 
sort of for my hand. <laughs> yeah, let me just put this down. And yeah, I hope that um, my my pigment paste will make some nice designs. Looks like a sun, doesn't it? That's actually what I wanted to achieve. Maybe a little bit lighter, but it's more light when I see it for real than it's on, on this film. Okay, love and leave you for now and see you. Bye bye. Hi guys. This is now, uh, yeah, half an hour later. And the petals, or however you call it, the pigment paste spread it and what i like it's it has again a little bit of a wispiness and it didn't drop down really really like it and i'm really looking forward for the unmolding and yeah we see tomorrow how it's gonna look like i'm so so curious about it and yeah it's great. I like this technique. It and it looks a little bit like like a sun. I think. Of course, you may think different. I'm sure I will do another one. And I already thought about outside orange and then going further with pink alcohol ink. Just to get this, and then also with blues, so to have such a sunset um, feeling. I'm not sure if it's gonna work, but I certainly want to try this. Anyway, um, going close again, there are the flakes, they're just on the bottom, and I'm sure when I um, unmold it, it will have a really, really nice depth. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good morning, guys. I'm back. Uh, I'm really looking forward for the unmolding. Um, yeah, um, this was my first try with these crystals, or in fact, my second first was was. Uh, was this green one but for like doing something similar it's it's my first first try with these kind of pores so i'm really looking forward to unmold this it's still a tiny bit bendy but it's also not exactly 24 hours i'm sorry again the coffee machine you know i'm i'm a, really i love drinking coffee and that's why um the machine is always running yeah you see it's getting out very very easily and let's have a look so far yeah I like it I like the um, patterns and let's flick the baby over well there are these flakes and it's really looking very very nice there's a tiny bit of an overflow just a tiny bit but you can peel it off like that see and that's it so i'm very very happy about this and i must say it's really really worth having high quality um, things in layers and also the mold because look how easy it pops out and wow i like this crystal effect so much look at this this is beautiful really really like it and it's quite clear in the center look Let's have a look how it was looking here. It was also rather clear, but not as wide, I think, as this one. So I really have a very, very clear center. Yeah, I like it.
Wow. And let's flick it over. I really adore the effect. Wow. And my um, sparkle white is right at the edge. It just went to the edge where um, here. Yeah, here it's all practically all over. But here it went to the edge. Wow. Really like it. I wonder what you think, guys. Let me just take you down for a close up so you can tell me what you think of it. Um, yeah, let me get this. Oh, I'm sorry for my hand. <laughs> it's always the same with me. It has so much depth. Look at that. It's like yeah, the flower, sort of flower, is covering around. Wow. And let me turn this over. There are all the flakes, which I also like very, very much. You know, you can use it from both sides. I wonder... You know, that's what I a thought of me. I don't know if I'm going to do this. If you make a, a small gap here and just place a sort of um, fairy lights in there, what effect this will do. Maybe this is something to think of in the future, just to, yeah. Uh, Okie dokie. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm really happy with the result because I'm with this technique I'm I'm very new and I'm playing around and I'm so so glad that that Petra Younglot showed us a technique so everyone can can make their own designs with it and and yeah it's not just a plain crystal coaster or whatever you can really really play around and this is what I like so much and it has such a great effect. Okay, um, yeah, I dropped some pictures at the end of the video, like I'm mostly doing, and see you for my next video. Thanks for watching, and have a good Sunday. Bye-bye.